what? I met my boyfriend on PUBG Mobile. I met my girlfriend playing PUBG Mobile. I met my boyfriend playing PUBG Mobile. I met the love of my life on PUBG Mobile. Where is he? He's behind me. I'm getting shot. You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> How you gonna let him knock me like that? About three years ago, I had lost my job and I was bored. And um, I was terrible at Xbox, <laughs> and uh, I found the wonderful App Store. I guess about three years now I've been playing on the touchscreen, and I thought it was amazing. I know that I'm following right behind him. He's gonna take the first initial hit, potentially go down, I'm gonna come in and finish and then we're gonna revive. I mean, so we work very much in tandem together, which is refreshing, because you don't get that very often. I knocked a guy that was up here and he died. Okay. But I'm pretty sure there's a second guy up there. Yo, we both suck. I've never really been that good with FPS shooter type game, but when I played PUBG Mobile, I was pretty good with it. I liked playing it because it was, I realized it was more just strategy wise and not all just about the gun skill. I am the IJL, so I'm pretty much the strategic part of my team. Me and Caitlin talk strategy like all the time. I really love having somebody that I can talk to about that. Being part of Cloud9 has kind of been a, a dream come true. I've been playing and watching and this is, uh, it's been a dream so far. We love the game because we like hanging out with other people and the people you meet. I mean, that's one of the most important things and I encourage everyone to find friends to play with. Kaylin's special to me because she's somebody that I really enjoy hanging out with and I want to spend every day with her. I live in Missouri and Caitlin lives in Georgia and it's pretty far apart and we don't uh, get to meet very often, but when we do, it's really special and uh, we both love it. Who made the first move? How did that happen? Um, I definitely made the first move. <laughs> I knew about him, he didn't know about me, and then our friends were like mutual friends and then we just like played together. Is that a new bus here? No, that's ours. Okay, trip me out for a second. I don't remember seeing a skin. I have that skin. We've been talking for like a really long time, but like no one had, like neither of us had been like, oh hey, let's date or anything. And then I was like, hey, let's date. I enjoy the interaction I have running around the map with a group of people that I consider friends. It's changed my life. I've been turned a career out of it. But the biggest change in my life from playing PUBG Mobile is meeting Isabel. Like, man, I really expected more action on this double date. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I thought, wait, that could be taken wrong. <laughs> Wake me up when we find somebody. <laughs> Do we need gas? How are we doing? I don't know. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Look, I saw somebody. Shoot him! <laughs> if you stop laughing and shoot this guy. Oh, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's interesting. Um, he keeps me on my toes and he keeps me laughing 24 hours a day. I mean, um, I met her a year ago. And I was part of a, a group called Lights Out back in the day. Some of you may have heard of them, but probably not. I don't remember the game, but she remembers it vividly. We were playing on Sandhawk. We're running around, we're playing. We come up on a squad looting and you know they're like let's go full set i'm the first person to knock somebody and so you know it flashes across all of our screens you have knocked mr x flip and then everybody went nuts they were like oh my gosh we're fighting lights out she knocked me four times he crawls back inside he literally gets healed full body peaks me i just kept getting revived and she was long range just taking my head off with a, some sort of sniper rifle i'm sure after that time i just felt bad and i i killed him at that point <laughs> Um, finally, she ends up killing me, and then I get a DM on Twitter um, about, you know, 
hey, I encountered you in a game, and she had a legitimate question to ask a streamer because she was thinking about streaming herself. My, my teammates, they knew I was having problems, and they were like, he's a streamer. They were like, he actually can probably really help you out. Right after the game, I sent him a message um, on Twitter. He didn't um, answer that for a while, so. <laughs> It took a few more people getting involved, but that's kind of basically how it started. I killed him. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Pro player. I need One's you. lit, and there are others. Uh, it's, it's not marked correctly. It's not me there. Oh, that's there. Oh, shoot. there. <laughs> They're both on this wall. I didn't know we had a game. He peeked out. He's right in front of me. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Shoot <laughs> off! <laughs> the other's over the wall. It was weird at first, I think, for both of us, or at least for me. And uh, you don't really like expect it to go that route. It's just kind of like you're playing together and you have fun, but then you're like, I don't know, it just kind of gradually happens. You have the same interests and uh, hang out and spend so much time together. We've had a lot of downs in the past like year, like just me personally, but I'm very thankful I've had him through all of them. She's a very smart player and uh, definitely like the most important player on her team. I love playing with my team. I love them. I'll sacrifice all of my stuff so my teammates can perform how they should perform. Wait, there's a car pulled up here. Yo, Yo people, right oh my God, full, full squad. Keep going. All right, now stop. Pretty recently, she was telling me about the strategy that she came up with when it, the circle goes to the military base. Like, you can just put an empty car there and not even be on the bridge, and it would probably deter people. Do they have oh, a car? bridge camp, bridge camp, bridge camp. Are you serious? We're getting bridge camp. Oh my God. Wait, really? I'm right crashing. side, end of the bridge. Mm. We're going in. <laughs> oh my God, you got the other with the car. <laughs> 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 When we play duos, it's just a different world. Oh, oh my oh God, my get, God. get your ski board. Get your ski board. Let's go. Ski, ski, ski. <laughs> I guess I would just say, um, you know, find somebody that you can share your passion with. Oh my God. Oh, dude, bro ham. Oh, get off, oh get off, get off, get off. Oh my God. And I've seen a guy and a girl, you know, get together and game, and then it never lasts, and then eventually they move on to other, you know, it happens all the time. Um, in fact, even when we got together, I didn't see how, I didn't see the, the finish line. Like, we were just having fun living in the moment. My favorite thing about my relationship with Bayo is how supportive he is. Oh, you caught him. Oh my God. We don't play together that much. We play um, against each other, though, pretty much every day in scrims and tournaments. She's on another competitive team, so we kill each other a lot. <laughs> there was a time really long ago before we started dating where <laughs> we were both playing in a scrum. We were on separate teams. It was an open community scrum. And I was a solo, or I was the last one alive of my team. And Bayo had his full four-man team still alive, okay? So he knows I'm a solo, and he's like, oh, I'm just gonna pick on her. He knows it's me, so he's going to pick on me. So he tells his team to pin me on this tree. Don't make her move from the tree, don't kill her, don't do anything. And so I'm trying to peek his teammates because I know they're shooting at me, I'm trying to figure out what they're doing, and I see him driving his car a whole circle around me and he turns towards me and I know it's coming and he just slams right into me, dead. <laughs> yeah, I had been planning that for so long. I saw her pinned on this tree and just wanted to take the car and go really wide out of the way and come back in and hit her when she wasn't expecting. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing I could do. I like playing together because we had to like playfully make fun of each other when we're like not hitting uh, the enemy and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> she
she was in Indiana, I was in Florida. It's about a thousand miles in between us. We used, um, you know, we basically just played PUBG Mobile all the time for voice communication. And uh, that was just our best way to stay connected. Got him. Oh, they both had the same name. And uh, I've even done streams or even YouTube videos where her perspective and my perspective are split screen. If anything happens, I can just hit a foot pedal and it captures an instant replay. I don't even remember what or how it came about, but I, I made this sound. Oh, oh, oh. And he was like, wait, wait, oh. did, did you just? Wait, what did you just say? Did that did just you... sound like the new kids yes. on the block? Yes, yes, and apparently you heard it too. <laughs> she um, took someone's head off of a moving buggy uh, about 350 meters away in Miramar. It was with a four times scope and a bolt action rifle. Our voice octaves were just, it was holy, I don't know. You'd have to see the clip. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Um, I, since I met her through PUBG Mobile, I couldn't even imagine, you know, oh, uh, not having her in, in my life. The main reason I love PUBG Mobile is also like just hanging out and meeting all of the people that you would have never met before. I know I've met friends from PUBG Mobile through gaming that I'll probably have lifelong friends. I'm in Indiana, and I learned that he was in Florida. Obviously, that's a that's a huge barrier distance. Yeah, we uh, we had a long distance relationship for uh, the entire the entire courtship. Uh, like we only recently moved in together. Awesome! Thank you so much. Sorry about Thank that. Thank you. One, one more question. Sure. So, have you uh, popped the question yet?